this is the second of a series of video tutorials to help you with making a soccer scoring game application. Now keep in mind the intent here is to teach you some new skills so that you can then take all these new skills and create something of your own. We're going to add to this code that we have here, and by the way the links to the other video tutorials are beneath this video, um, but we're going to add to this code here to make it so that when I drag the soccer ball over to the net, it will say you scored, and then it's going to move the soccer ball back to the starting position again. We're going to need another if-then block to check to see if the ball is actually in the net. So we're going to go to control and grab the if-then. Now, it's a little tricky to put this into place, but you're going to be putting into place just inside of the other if-then, and you can see that things moved around a little bit, um, so I'm going to fix that up right now, and it just involves kind of deconstructing the code until we get it back into the place that you'd like it to be. So I'm going to click that underneath. There we go. I've got it ready to go the way I'd like it to be. So I'm going to un go under sensing, and I'm going to check to see if the soccer ball is touching the um, the actual net. So I'm going to grab the first touching block, and rather than if it's touching the mouse, the mouse pointer, I'm going to change in the pull-down menu to the net. So if the soccer ball is touching the net, then we want it to say goal, or you scored, or something like that. So under looks, we're going to grab the say hello block, and instead of hello, we're going to change that to goal. And I'm going to leave it at two seconds, but you can experiment with that. I'm not only going to say goal, though, after two seconds, I would like the ball to move to the starting position. So under motion, if you look right now where the ball is, it tells you some coordinates. It says negative 187 and negative 139. I think that's a pretty good place to start. So I'm going to get my go-to block and place it beneath the say block. And you can see it does have those values in. If it didn't have those values or close to those values, you'd want to change those numbers. All right, so it looks like we are ready to go and run this code and see if it works. So I'm going to click on the green flag to start. I'm going to move my ball. Ooh, a little tricky. <laughs> move my ball up. And there you go, it says goal. And then the ball returned to the starting position.